Welcome back to Sporn Spro. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to collect mushroom spores. The first being a spore print, and the second being a spore swab. When taking a spore print, it is important to keep it dry and clean, so I use dampered crystals to absorb the excess moisture from the mushroom cap while it is printing. The container you're using to take the spore print should be wiped down with isopropyl alcohol. I like to use a clean piece of tin foil to collect the spores. As the dampered crystals absorb moisture, they will melt into the bottom compartment. If you can only find dampered crystals without the container, you can use two plastic cups. Once your spore printing chamber is ready, you can use a clean pair of scissors to select your favorite mushroom cap. Give it about 8 to 12 hours for the spore print to be fully deposited onto your tin foil. Spore prints can last many years when stored in dark, dry, and cold conditions. The second method for collecting spores is to use a sterile cotton swab. After the spores are collected, they are stored for later use or they are streaked across an agar plate. I'll leave a link in the description to a video I made on how to make your own agar plates. Use a pair of clean scissors to select your favorite mushroom cap. The trick is to rotate your cotton swab directly in between two gills. The spores can now be streaked across an agar plate in an S pattern. The agar plates are sealed with grafting tape or parafilm and incubated at 80 degrees for one week. If you have condensation blocking your view, using a heating pad for a few minutes will clear it right up. From here you can use a sterile scalpel to cut a wedge out of the agar plate and add it to a grain jar to grow the species out. And that's two ways to collect mushroom spores. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one.